Councilman Hall, how are you? I'm great. I was wanting to ask you about the importance of this year's presidential elections and all the elections uh, that we're, the nation is faced with and the importance of voting. It's mission critical that citizens express their right to vote. This is something that many people, such as my father, Dr. King, and so many others gave their lives so that we would have the right. I mean, all citizens would have the right to be able to, one, make sure that they have elected officials who represent their interests but also be able to participate in juries. If you're not registered to vote and you don't exercise your right to vote, you're not called to be a part of the jury process. And if you're not in the jury process, you cannot help to make sure that individuals who might be innocent, but are soon to be guilty, to get the fair treatment and justice in the criminal justice system. So it's a lot of things that can impact our lives. Talking about, you know, we always talk about W.E. Boy, W.E. B. Du Bois and the Talented Tiff. Well, this is it. This is the Talented Tiff. This is the Talented Tiff. Give it back. It's to funny. Me. This, I is, have, like, all this is us giving back. This is us making sure that we're here taken care of. This is us giving back to our, you know, ancestors. Our, our my, my, hell, my parents and my grandparents who sacrificed so much to give me a better life. So. You know, if we keep doing this, then, then, then we, we are going to have a positive future in this country. We're going to have a bright future in this country. Yeah, man, we just got on this bus rolling out from Newport News, Virginia. It's been a great last two and a half days. We came up on Friday and we helped Terry McCollum's team. We basically rolled nine hours, but it ended up being about 12 because we ran into traffic. Woke up on Saturday, hit the ground, found our way around canvas throughout not only the African American portion of Newport News, we made a lot of new friends, connected, um, got some folks trained in canvassing and the DNC way of canvassing. And then on Sunday, we did the same thing. We've had had a great, I think, all around experience in terms of bringing people together for a common cause and a volunteer spirit. Um, people love themselves, love building community, love our country, and love helping people. Uh, this has been a great experience. Also, for those who might want to go into politics or do things to support other political candidates. And then it also has been good to just see people build bonds and, and relationships that I hope will last much longer than just this trip. Um, there's something special about being with people for an extended period of time and having to support one another, having to break down the traditional I'm in my own car type of scenario and have to bond and share water and share napkins and, and you know sit next to somebody in, in a way that may potentially feel uncomfortable in the beginning but over time you wouldn't want to sit anywhere at all. This experience has motivated me. I, I love my job. I love what I do. I work with the community. We organize and we make things happen. Um, this experience has re-energized that work. I, I hit a wall. I was frustrated. I didn't know I didn't know if I could keep going, if I could keep doing what I was doing on a daily basis, you know, almost like beating my head against the wall. But you know what? Seeing everybody hit the pavement, seeing everybody keep going, keep knocking on doors, and sometimes those doors were shut, but sometimes those doors were open, it just, it gave me the energy, it gave me the motivation, the inspiration to continue. I will work tomorrow with a renewed sense of commitment and dedication and we will make change and it will happen. If we've got a knock on a hundred doors, it will happen. That's what this experience has brought me. My name is Briante McCorkle. I am going back to Atlanta and I got on the bus. In campaigning, what I realized is that you know, what we're working on, what we are all doing, uh, is going to bring change to areas like Newport News and, and hopefully for the rest of Virginia. Um, but there's no doubt in my mind that we had an impact. I mean, we, because we were there, I mean, I myself was able to talk to I don't know, 60 people in two days. We had 50 people on this bus. We were all able to talk to 60 people. 
like those numbers alone are staggering, right? You have, what, 3,000 people now that we, this bus, we want to hit. And otherwise, more than likely, probably would not have gotten involved. Looking to exercise your right to vote, uh, regardless of your party, regardless of your beliefs, um, it's just important for citizens to do their, their just do and getting out to vote. So to be able to be a part of this campaign, uh, for that, they'll show up. It's very productive for me. Hi, my name is Aaliyah Duffkins, and I'm headed back to Atlanta, and I got one of us. Well, actually, this bus experience won't end until tomorrow, which is, which is kind of funny about the whole thing. But ultimately, uh, what I'm going to see, I'm, I'm a results person, so ultimately what I'm going to see is that will not kick in until Tuesday night when we get the results from this race. Uh, I believe that this this race is an important race, uh, not for the, the Commonwealth of Virginia, but for the entire country, looking at uh, the soul of our country, looking at um, where we stand politically, where we stand ideologically. Uh, and I think this is an assessment, and that's what I'm going to look about. I mean, obviously there's been the connections that we made, the experiences, the experiences that we've had, but ultimately what it's going to boil down to are the results. I'm Mark Silver, I'm from Swanee, Georgia, and I got on the bus. And CNN projects Terry McAuliffe uh, has been elected, will be the next governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, the former chairman of the Democratic National Committee, the close pal of Bill and Hillary Clinton. Uh, he will be the next governor. We make that projection based on the vote tallies that are coming in. Let's take a quick look right now. Uh, almost all of the votes have actually been counted.